Hi, I'm Dustin and welcome to Overworked Logic. This video is part one of a two part series. I'm going to be showing you how to build a three room combined system with Crestron. Before we can build a system, we have to talk about the theory of what we're actually doing and what we're trying to accomplish here. So you see this little guy here, we've got three rooms, who cares, right? Room one, two, and three. What we want to be able to do is join room one and two. He's a little bit excited about that and have room three operating independently. With the next step, his mind is blown. We're combining room one, room two, and room three together. So the source that's selected will be the same on all displays in all the rooms. Let's take a look at what the signal flow is for these systems, just an individual room. So this is a very simplistic system. We've got a video conference codec with two outputs and a laptop input with a single output. The cloud represents the fact that the connectivity is video over IP. So there's a transmitter that's feeding into the cloud, into the network basically, and a decoder that's feeding the signal to the left display and to the right display. Now this is just one of the rooms. In total, the system actually has three rooms. So we have a situation that looks like this, with each room having its own individual codecs and laptop inputs and a set of displays. Now in a combined scenario, this is showing what would happen when all three rooms are combined together. So we're only using the codec from room one and we're sending that out to the left display and the right display in both of the rooms. We also have the ability to select a laptop in room one and route it to the other rooms. I should mention there are room combines that I've done in the past that are a lot more complicated and you can do more combinations than this. But in this case, it's either room one, two, three individually, room one and two together with three individual, or room one, two, three together. So this is just a depiction of room one where we have the touch panel connected to state logic that manages pop-ups and pages. And then we've got room logic that manages what's going on with the devices in that particular room. We've got display control, source selection, audio selection, volume for the room and lighting control. If we add the other two rooms to this diagram, you can see they basically have their own independent touch panel state logic and room logic. So they just operate on their own. So interesting things start to happen when we're looking at combinations. When room one and room two are combined, we're actually going to break the touch panel connection from the state logic for room two and connect it to the state logic for room one. Likewise, the room logic from room two is going to connect up to the state logic of room one. So we completely bypassed the yellow one there, state logic for room two. So that means that room one and room two's touch panels are going to be completely synchronized Anything that happens is going to track the same states and the resulting commands are going to be sent equally to both of the rooms. So they will operate together. In a three room combined scenario, state logic for room three is bypassed and that touch panel and room logic is also connected to the state logic for room number one. So room number one in this case with the state logic is doing all the work. It's managing the pop-up pages. It's managing the source selection, volume and lighting control for the entire system. I'm going to show you what that looks like with the touch panels here. Now it's a little bit tough to get all three of them on a page here, but what I'm demonstrating here is the touch panel for room one, the touch panel for room two, and the touch panel for room three. What I've done is enforced combined mode, the visibility of this button to only ever appear on room one so that the other rooms can't exit and enter combined mode on their own. It needs to be done from this master room. Other than that, they're very similar. So as you can see, I can click in and control volume, select my sources for that room. I can do it for this room. And they all operate basically independently. Now, when we go into combine and we choose combine one, two, now when we press start, room one and two are synchronized. So I could control it from this side or from this side. I can control the volume here and you'll see it on this side. And likewise, I can do this. Now room three at this point is still operating independent. It can do its own thing. You'll also note things like lights. The pop-ups will be synchronized and you can open them and dismiss them from either side. It's completely synchronized. Lastly, if we combine one, two, and three, when we press start, 
you'll be able to control and it synchronizes the source and the volume on all three interfaces. Overall, the programming to make this happen is not that complicated. There are some things that you need to understand with cross points. Understanding how things are laid out in the diagram makes it a lot easier to understand what I'm doing in the code. I will be releasing the second video very shortly that will show you how the touch panel is created and what I'm going to do in simple windows to make this happen. Thanks for watching this video. Please like this channel and subscribe so you can get notified when the new video is released. And I hope to get that out to you very soon. And if you're watching this later, there's a link to the video if it's already been created. Thanks and have a great day.